Okay, day 33, we got bombarded by ducks and geese. I don't know if you know, but geese are like this freaking big. And when they look at you, it's just like Monty Python looking straight through you. It's a little scary when they're this close. So I'm grateful for Rylan, our videographer, and Kyla Gagnon, the yogi extraordinaire. So without further ado, Oh, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I want to hear from you guys. What was your biggest takeaway about today's video? Here we are with, yeah, do you like our petting zoo? Um, we have uh, some visitors. Hi. Hi, how are you? Thank We're you. back. Part two. We're gonna try this again. We got bombarded by ducks. Yes, and geese. Okay, so um, last time we practiced together, we did a little snippet of a flow, and we're gonna add to that. Okay, so you are going to need this today. Oh, all right. Um, we're gonna use it for hamstring work. Okay. okay. So we're not gonna run through the flow that we did last time, but we're gonna start from where we left off. Okay. No, it was a week ago. In child's pose, I know. Terrible okay. memory. Okay, so your strap can still decide. You don't need it quite yet. Okay. Big toes together, knees apart. We're going to find child's pose. So press your hips back towards your heels and allow your forehead to find your back. Taking in a few breaths here and finding the length of inhale. And try to match that with the length of exhale. So really controlling and slowing the breath. about one more full breath and then we're going to roll forward coming to the tabletop we're going to bring yourself right down onto your belly we did that low cobra at the end of our last practice so <clears throat> tops of your feet and shins press down into the mat hands are right beside your armpits tucked in elbows are tucked in forehead is at your mat as you inhale, pressing down through the tops of your feet and your hands, you're going to roll your shoulders, lift your chest, and head off of your mat. Pull your chest a little bit forward, shine your heart forward. Exhale, release, forehead to mat. Inhale again, shoulders back, chest comes up and through your hands, low cobra. Just waking up the spine a little bit. Exhale, release. And on your next inhale, lift the chest, find your low cobra. And now tuck your toes, press yourself back through tabletop, and then find your downward dog. Press your hips up and back. Now taking out any little wiggles here that you need to do. Stretching through the hamstrings, through the calves. From here we're going to do three-legged dog. So inhale, lift your right leg towards the sky. And that's these are here. Kick out through your right heel. You should feel this now through your left calf, left hamstring. Wow, you're much better at this than I am. Oh, I 
feel it. Oh yeah. Like your imaginary rope. Yeah. It works. Okay. Inhale, bend to your right knee, bring it back up through center. Take the strap now in your left hand. Take your right arm out to the side. And now we're going to take this leg all the way over to the left, as far as I want it to go. And then from here, again, take out through your right heel. And now see if you can kind of pull your right hip back. So it's almost like a tug of war with your hip and your heel. This one generally hits the IT band in a pretty intense way. You want to stay here and breathe a lot. Continue to kick away with your heel and pull back with your hip. Stay here for one more breath and in a perfect world you'd stay there for like 10 minutes. Bend your knee, bring everything back through center and change the legs. Right foot to the earth, left heel to the sky, strap around, ball of left. So drive your left heel up, pull your left heel back towards your face. And again, if you want to enhance this, stretch your right leg with straight. So it's not your leg, that's real good. You can a gentle micro bend to you the extended leg. Big breath. Strap it through the right arm, left arm is extended. Take the leg across the body towards the right, just as far as it wants to go. Keep a little micro bend in the knee. Yep and then kick out through the heel and pull back with your hip. Stay in here for one more breath. And then release, bend the knee, come back through center, get rid of your strap. One more stretch per side, figure four or supine pigeon, if you care. Take your right foot, place it on your left knee, Flex through your right ankle, and then try to power just gently your right leg a little bit away from your body. You want to feel this through the right hip. Now, if you want to move further from here, your next step would be to lift your left foot off the floor and reach behind the left thigh and gently pull that in towards your chest. 
just an option, it's not mandatory, both stretches are amazing. If you've chosen to grab the back of your thigh, keep your right foot flexed and continue to press your right thigh and knee away from you. And then relax the back of your shoulders to the mat, close your eyes and breathe. And again, hitting the outside of right hip, maybe a little bit inside of right hip. Stay for one more breath. And release the left foot to the earth, take the right foot off. Same thing, other side, left foot crosses over right knee. Flex at the ankle, press the knee and thigh away from you. And either stay right there or reach through, grab the back of right thigh. And gently pull in towards the chest. I don't think I'm that flexible. <laughs> that side's a little different, that's okay. So with your right foot on the earth, just keep using your own leg strength to press the left thigh away. And then take the shoulders, relax them onto the earth. And then do a little scan of your face and see if you can relax tension through your teeth, jaw, cheeks, and forehead. And root back to the breath that you found earlier. And now releasing the left foot, take both feet to the mat. This is a gentle spinal twist to finish. Both feet to the mat and have them as wide as your mat. Take your arms back into that famous cactus and then take both knees to the right. A very gentle twist to the spine. Gaze can look over your left shoulder. So you should be feeling this through the left low back, maybe a little bit through the hips, maybe a little bit through the front of the left thigh. And inhale, bring your legs back through neutral, head through neutral. Both legs fall to the left and your gaze looks to the right. And on your inhale, legs back through neutral. Give your legs a little hug in towards the body. And then rock yourself over to your right side and then roll back to seated. So, the last week's flow portion paired with this week's would be easily accessible at home um, or wherever you are finishing your cycle or wherever you happen to be when you're like, oh, I need to do some yoga stretching. And that whole sequence can take anywhere from 10 to 15, maybe even 20 minutes, depending on how many breaths you stay and take in each pose. But you could easily whip through 10 minutes and still feel like you've stretched everything that you need to stretch. Um, if you have more time, obviously, I'm always going to say do more. Two stay, more. Stay in the pose longer. Oh, trust me, I'm doing a lot this this series. Yeah, you're doing great. Just remember to breathe. Be patient with your stretches. They don't have to look a certain way. You want them to feel good? Yeah. Good. There we go. All the progressions oh, okay. of five weeks put together. Yeah. And I am officially a yogi!